Good afternoon. 16 and 17 year olds are expected to be offered a COVID-19 vaccine in the coming weeks. Updated guidance from the JCVI is expected to be published later to include those age groups. The hope is that vaccinating secondary school aged children against the virus will reduce transmission. If you think about 16 and 17 year olds in particular, some of them still at school, uh, some of them going on to further in higher education where they'll be mingling with 18 and 19 year olds who are vaccinated. So is this as far as I would like to see vaccination go? Uh, no, if it's safe, I'd like to see it go further than that. But this will be, if it is what the JCVI recommend, an important step forward. Businesses are making preparations to change how they operate as COVID restrictions ease. From Monday, all businesses will be allowed to reopen, including nightclubs. Bar service will also resume in pubs. Hospitality venues will be able to operate at full capacity and social distancing will be dropped in most settings. So even though all social distancing is going to be removed, we will only sell 50% uh, of available seats for the next few weeks till the end of August at least, just as we ease our customers and our staff back into being comfortable with busier cinema screens. But we are feeling really hopeful that this is another positive step towards getting back to a bit more normality. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister is beginning a two-day visit to Scotland. Boris Johnson has declined an invitation to meet the First Minister at Butte House to discuss the UK's recovery from the pandemic. It's his first trip north of the border since January. It's been another successful day for Scots at the Tokyo Olympics after sailor Ailey McIntyre struck gold. Ailey, whose dad Michael McIntyre also won gold in 1998, came out on top alongside crewmate Hannah Mills. Elsewhere, Laura Muir secured her spot in the 1500 metres final after finishing second in her semi. And at the velodrome, Jack Carlin breezed through the opening rounds of the men's sprint competition. To football now, and Joe Hart says he's fit and ready to play in Celtic's Europa League tie with Jablonek tomorrow night. The former England keeper signed a three-year deal yesterday and is in the squad for the third round qualifier. It just had to be done as, as, as soon as it possibly could. And I, and I thank Celtic and the medical staff for making that happen uh, and getting me out here and getting me a part of this team. And I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully helping us to, us to put um, one step forward. Well, that's the news this lunchtime. Now, Sean has the weather forecast. Blue skies and sunshine are in the forecast. TUI sponsors STV Weather. Good afternoon. Well, many of us have woken up to a nice start to the day. Plenty of dry weather with sunshine, but we've got some heavy showers starting to bubble up in one or two spots, predominantly in the west. And temperatures today, 20 to 22 degrees Celsius. Cooper and probably Harrington in the east doing particularly well, so feeling nice in the sunshine, at least in between those showers. Now, it will turn increasingly wet across many western areas through this evening. You can see some brighter colours in there, so some of it will be on the heavier side. Anything in the east, rather showery. Temperatures 14 or 15 degrees Celsius. And tomorrow it looks rather showery for many parts, some on the heavy side, especially in the west. Bye-bye. TUI sponsors STV Weather. I'm back with Kellyanne for the STV News at 6. See you then. Bye for now.